Why is she back? What's she come back to do? Money. Right. Always money with Jude. So that's one sort of consistent thing in her life. It's always been about money. She moved down to Marbella at the Costa del Crime, Porta Banus and all that. So yeah. <laughs> she's always been involved with the riffraff of society and she's come back just to get more money out okay. of the chest a lot. She's really ruthless and quite horrible. She's and always been ashamed of character. Awful. I was just looking at that. I forgot I was an escort. <laughs> oh, yeah. 200 <laughs> quid a night. It's more than what I get paid now, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? That's why she's gone back. Why did you go back? Well, I mean, I've got four children and they just see me as mum, yeah. you know, and I got a call and it's always been, well, no, I do the school run, you know, I'm always there for the babies or I'm out here, one or the other. So um, I got a call and I think I was just serving lasagna or something and my eldest said, what do you mean, go on TV? You? You're, you do nothing. And I'm, <gasps> well, excuse me, young man, I'll show you. But I you know what? Did. So I did. And they managed to schedule it. So it was through the summer holidays because we have a huge break. It's like eight weeks. So uh, I moved up north, decamped everyone up there and had a fantastic time back at the TV studios. It was hilarious. There's people there from there 18 years ago. Yeah. Guys in makeup, exactly the same. People like the boom guys and stuff. So it was just like oh, catching well, up on 20 years of wrongdoing. A lady in makeup did say to you, oh, you're here 18 years ago. What have you been up to? <laughs> this and that. <laughs> <laughs> this and that. You've been very busy, you know. I mean, I, I moved down to London with the bright lights, big city, mm. and I just lived life to the max. I mean, I was a bit kind of debauched during my 20s, but that was like nearly 10 years ago. So I was kind of lucky because I was fit and healthy when I was in my teens sort of got a bit wild in my 20s yeah. and then stopped when I hit round about 30. So my personal trainer said to me, that is the, if you're going to mess up in any decade, yeah, that's, that's the decade the to, to do it. it. So, you and know. you, I mean, and now you seem like you're in a really great place. You're back, you're back at work and you, you, you know, you seem, you've been sober for seven years. Yeah, 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 something like that. I mean, yeah. I don't even keep count anymore. So yeah, it's just a way great. of life. Oh, and, well, you know, well done you. Yeah, I know, it, it's not difficult now. You know, it doesn't have to be difficult every day. It's an absolute joy and yeah. I've got the children. One of them has got a whole new routine at getting up at four. 30 this morning. Oh gosh. I'm like, that's mate, start. I'm on live TV. Do you have to do this to me? Come on. What but... do they think about you being on the telly then? From well, going, Mum, you do Number nothing. one and number two kind of get it. And he's called Jude as well because I really thought I wouldn't go back to the character. Hence we call him number four, Jude. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I know. So it's really cringy. I didn't <laughs> do it. Out. I just love the name Jude. You know. Like, God, on, how embarrassing. <laughs> it's like real ego stuff. So, <laughs> so it's because you said this fitted in very nicely with the school holidays does that limit your run in there well brian the producer said he thought so much of the character coming back he said i can go back again next summer if i want to and you know what that studio is notoriously freezing in february so i'm like that sounds fabulous to me so you are thinking about going back yeah we're going to try we're going to see what the storylines are like but i mean it's something i completely consider it was like a family and it gave me such a, a sort of not a self-esteem boost I needed really because to be honest all I do is watch you guys followed by loose women you know and, <laughs> and Jeremy earlier on and that's and there's nothing you. wrong with that <laughs> but I'm breastfeeding and then I've got mastitis and then I'm thinking oh god Phil, Phil and Holly will know about this let's watch this <laughs> sure enough there's a link oh, on how to, to treat that with an absolute godsend <laughs> but you know enough's enough I've yeah. done like eight years like this go yeah, for it you time, guys time so it was nice work. to do something creative and my poor husband you know if I'm feeling creative I'm like well that wall's got to come down because he's a builder so it saved him a fortune really <laughs> well the thing is that also now you've got you've got a busy family yeah uh, really busy. time is of the essence mm. in the early days of uh, Hollyoaks um, time was a bit of a problem there wasn't it I mean I think your timekeeping might have been something well of an issue. do you know what that's what they say I got sacked for but I think I fell out with the producer and she let me film my final scenes all the front of headshots so I'd already signed a contract saying I was leaving so my final scenes I shot and then they got an extra in to film the back of headshots and they rang up the press and said oh we sacked her and just got that last bit of mileage out of me right. PR wise and you know it didn't do me any favors at all no you know because I'm I mean I was early today guys yes oh, well yes i was early Don't thank you because notice. yes because somebody was a bit late and i stepped in i should have been on it's at midday true. it's true it's true it's, it's <laughs> save the day timekeeping <laughs> thank you that's because the traffic start. is hideous out there and some not for this early bird stuck in traffic <laughs> oh my god um so is it is it are you going to do a movie oh god yeah so the funniest thing happened to me i mean the universe works really weirdly but like all positive things started happening to me this summer and uh, a, sort of like a script came through for me 
which they randomly do. Anyway, um, I was away with my boys and I read it. And I read it for the lead and there was a couple of sex scenes in it. So I spoke to the director. It's over in the States, an independent movie set in New Orleans, like a sort of gangster movie. And I read it for the lead and I just thought, you know, these scenes are a bit inappropriate for yeah. me. So I spoke to him and I said, you know about the sex scenes? I'm not sure. And he goes, oh, honey, you're not in the sex scenes. <laughs> you're reading the wrong part. Honey, you're the lush in the back of the limo with a chihuahua and a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I said, that... I can do that. <laughs> Come back and tell us about when that, that comes out, you must come and talk Absolutely. To In the meantime, it's so lovely to have you yes. back. Oh, thanks Great for having me. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. And losing your mum, there's nothing worse than that, is there? So, you know, I, 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 a really powerful storyline and a great actress to work with. So when I, I actually had, I could hear Barbara saying those words when she was reading them out. They, they read the playback for me. So when I heard those words, it really, you know, spiked me up and fired me up. I'm getting a bit emotional now, actually, even thinking about it.